good boy to pay for his tigers. Today is February 28th, 2018. It's, it's Wonderful, Wonderful Wednesday. Wednesday. By David Julia Bridge, broadcast from WPFD. And I am Kylie Jordan. We are from Mrs. Dockery, fourth grade class. Thanks for tuning in. It's a new day, tigers. Let's take a moment to reflect on positive thoughts. Please stand up and raise your right hand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Wednesday, February 20th, for lunch we're having cheeseburger, tuna salad sandwich, egg chef salad with whole grand roll, and ginger glazed carrots. Good morning, boys and girls. Are you still rolling in with positive behavior? I sure hope so. When I look at my buses, I thought they were moving. 631A and 631B were almost at the finish line and they just stopped. What happened? You didn't want your prize or did you forget about your positive behavior? You have to make sure you remember each and every day to walk straight to your seat, sit with your legs facing forward, speak in quiet voices, and keep the aisles clear. That's the only way you'll be safe on the bus. No fighting on a bus, and remember to always be respectful to your bus driver. They have feelings too, and they don't want to have to drive you home and possibly hurt you because you're not doing what you're supposed to do in having positive behavior on the bus. Now, let's look at our bus system. So who's going to catch 631A and 631B? Is it going to be 591A? They've already gotten started. Or is it going to be 591B, 732, or 723? Whoever gets to the end first, you'll have hot wings and pizza on me. But you have to make it to the end. So who's going to be the winner? We'll see. something green. On Friday, hop on pop. Wear your favorite pajamas. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back from fall break. I missed you so much. I'm so glad you're here. This is a big week, because guess why? It's Read Across America Week. Y'all know how much Miss Gunner loves reading. I hope that you've been reading over the break. I hope you're ready to take some more AR tests. I hope you're ready to earn some more words read so you can catch DeMarco, who's over a million. Do you want to go on a field trip with Miss Gunner anywhere you want? You have to read, read, read. All right, boys and girls, remember to wear your uniforms each and every day. Remember, boys and girls, we're almost at the end of February. So remember, it's culture being honest. Do you want to go? I got a new basketball goal. I got a new boxing match thing. I got Simon Says. We got a giant Jenga. The only way you can go to the Lit Lounge 
is you have to be caught being honest. All right. It's Black History Month, boys and girls, and I have two books. One is kind of in honor of Black History Month, and the other was just because I liked it. This one's called Denitra Brown Leaves Town. Boys and girls, have you ever had a friend who maybe the summertime or spring break comes around and they're always like going visit their grandma or their auntie somewhere and then you're just kind of left, maybe it's your best friend and all this stuff happens and you don't have anyone to tell? Well, Zuri, her best friend is Denitra. Denitra left for the summer to go to the country. And so this book is a whole lot of letters that they wrote to each other. And I know y'all don't really write letters, so just pretend they're like text messages back and forth about the things that happen in the summer. Do you want to know what Denitra and Zuri had going on in the summertime? Come and get this book. Oh my God, this book is called Double Dribble. This book is hilarious. It's about some twins called Russ and Owen. Russ and Owen, they are basketball stars. I mean, they're moving, they're shaking, they're just the stars of the school. But then guess what happens? Some more twins come, Mitch and Marcus. Mitch and Marcus, they can play basketball, they're smart. I mean, they have the best grades. And so Russ and Owen are like, wait a minute, they can't be the best twins, but we're the best twins. And then one day, Marcus gets hurt and Mitch does something wrong. What will happen? Which set of twins comes out on top? Come and get double dribble from the media center. I can't wait. All right, boys and girls, look where I am. Do you see how our word wall is growing? Let's see. Do you know what thorough means? I bet you thought that that said through, but it doesn't. It's thorough. That means completely. That means, did you clean your room thoroughly? That means completely. What about perpetual? Perpetual means never ending. If you're in a perpetual forest, that means the forest never ends. Let's see one more. What about enamored? Can you say enamored? If you're enamored, that means you really, really, really like something. Like almost love something. Like Miss Gunner is enamored by New Edition. Do you know who New Edition is? Boys and girls, you don't know who I'm going to ask about these words. You don't know. I hope you remembered about having a tenacious grip. And what about quivering? It was so cold. You don't know. I want you to read these words. We are wild about words. Boys and girls, I love you. Let's make it a great day the Peyton way.